Hey guys, what's up? So Kagura is one of a kind mage with her combined features. She has burst damage, crowd control, high mobility, and CC immunity. She can also give you vision with her umbrella. That's why I really enjoy playing this mage. The only downside is you'll need to practice to get used to her combos. First skill, Kagura releases her umbrella and deals damage to its path. The umbrella is left in the field and can be moved again after the cooldown. Second skill, Kagura dashes and leaves her umbrella on her previous spot. It also removes crowd control effect. If the umbrella is released, she can teleport to the umbrella spot. Ultimate skill, if she has her umbrella, she'll knock back enemies near her and slow them for one second. Without the umbrella, the skill will link enemies around and slow them. If enemies fail to move away from the link, they will take extra damage and be pulled towards the umbrella. The first skill cooldown is reset once this skill is used. Passive skill. Whenever Kagura picks up her umbrella, she'll gain shield and stun nearby enemies. There's also a slow effect that lasts for 2 seconds. This effect has a 4.5 second cooldown. Demon Shoes I prefer this item because of its mana regeneration. Her skills have low cooldown making it easy to spam. Lightning Truncheon this item gives her that early game burst damage. I like to get this before Clock of Destiny because of its 10% cooldown reduction which is useful for spamming. Clock of Destiny This item increases the burst damage of Lightning Truncheon. It gives her good HP and damage. Genius Wind this item gives that much needed magic penetration at mid game. Her combos will allow its unique passive to stock up easily. This item can also be replaced with Necklace of Jurans in case the enemy has high sustain heroes. Holy Crystal This item benefits her because of her high magic power scaling. Her first skill has 150% while her ultimate has 120 and 180%. Divine Glaive This is my last item to counter those tanks and fighters who are using magic defense items. Its 70% magic penetration is just too good to ignore. For the emblem, I prefer custom mage with this talent build. Movement speed, magic penetration, and extra damage based on max HP. Execute This is a very potent spell on Kagura in the early game. It gives her that extra edge on getting those low HP targets. Flame Shot In case you don't want to kill steel from your core, you can always use this skill. You can use it to push the enemy towards your allies after a successful combo. Here are my basic combos. First one is taking advantage of her long range. Skill 1 first and then ultimate. Use skill 1 again and then follow up with her skill 2. Once you're in position, use ultimate again to push the enemies. And finally, use second skill to escape. Next combo is when the enemy is already near Kagura. Use ultimate first to push them away. Follow up with first and ultimate and first combo. Use second to stun and then second again to escape. Kagura is good against heroes with CC skills because her second skill can be used to purify crowd control effects. I thought you were very 
she's also good when against heroes without any escape skill. It's hard to escape her combo once they come near her umbrella. Her weakness is those high mobility heroes that can follow her movements. High mobility also means they can escape her ultimate. Go at mid lane and support your jungler for any possible invasion. Clear the first wave to reach level 2 and then get the little wanderer. Check the side lanes for a passable gank. Together with your ally, level 2 should be enough to get a kill. Always return to mid lane to clear the minion wave. Don't clear the side lanes. Try to reach level 4 before the 2 minute mark so that you can help clear the turtle. Rotate with the tank and jungler when necessary. Her umbrella can be used to check the bush. The umbrella line is not visible to the enemy. You can use this strategy to surprise enemies with your combo. Here are my favorite spots. Her second skill is also a good way to counter CC skills. It can disrupt their combos, putting the enemy in a difficult spot. The range of her umbrella is pretty good. You can use this to poke safely. It's spammable because of its slow cooldown. So what can you say about Kagura? Do you have your own Kagura tips? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.